We'll start with the Mr. Dar 43, size 12, dry fly hook. You can use a wet fly hook if you wish. This is sheer 40 knot black tying thread. We'll just attach that and go a wee ways back. Uh, this is an incredibly popular pattern in the UK and it's tied in many different ways. I like to use a longer shank hook to give a slender body. We want a little bunch of light ginger cock hackles, uh, cock hackle fibres sorry, for the tail. And we just tack those in, that's good. We go back That'll do me that. Then we need some extra fine copper wire for the rib and we'll just tack that in with a couple of turns and then we can pull it through and go up and just cover all those ends. And I need a bunch, a small bunch of light coloured pheasant tail fibres. Tie those in at the tail base. We've got the hook shank. Till we get to about there. Make a few more turns in that because I'm going to use my vice to wrap it. Make sure all the fibres are parallel and straight. And then we go up. Not quite straight there. You can see that they're crossing. I just straighten those up. It makes a much nicer body if it's straight. We go up, wind those in. Getting messed up again a bit. There we are. So, just hold those in position. Tie those off. There we are. Remove those. We take our copper wire and we want to go the opposite way now to the peacock curl. Once around the tail and then we go over and we we'll rib the whole rear body of the fly and a couple of turns at the front like so. We can tie that off now. Just remove that. It's good. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to take a single peacock curl and tie that in. Go forward. Like so, hackle player on our peacock curl. And then we'll wrap the thorax. As I said, uh, many variations of this, and I like a, a longer body and a little longer thorax. That'll do me. I'll just secure that while I remove the hackle plier. So, and then couple of turns behind it and a couple of turns in front remove that then we need a furnace hackle now I strip off one side for this because I don't, I don't want a lot of hackle again personal choice Let's spin that tight And 
and tie that in there and go forward remove that hackle plier again I might just put that on there and what we want is just a couple of turns of hackle I think that will do me there back into there just to hold it in position remove my hackle plier Let the way. pull everything back go in front tiny head finisher one bit finish and then we can remove the remaining surplus hackle and then we can give it a whip finish just to Finish it off and cover the end like that. Remove that. And that's the finished cruncher. Great little pattern. If you enjoy the videos, please like subscribe and share and thanks for watching.